Runners dispatch from the 1900 meter marker, Rainwear slower length and Creative Touch gave away two or three. It's quite clear to see the black cap of Roy's decision has committed early and gifted with a beautiful position out in front. Roy's rocker looking to be restrained in behind. Towards the inside, Miss Jacqueline. Sparkling flame is stargazing, head up in the air. Amble in is moving around in the blue and white and Bay Breeze also taken a bit of a hold as Roy's decision slows on the speed. A siege of Orleans also hard held. So three quarters of the field fighting and Rainwear is also one of those. Rainwear took a bit of a hold for a stride or two and Mandlin Tui looking to steady her. Creative touches towards the back as they now just start to inch along. Moving by the 1200. Roy's decision but Roy's rocker now moves around. A thousand ago and Muzi Yeni said let's step on the gas. Roy's rocker, the orange cap, goes on by a half. Amberlynn follows her through. Miss Jacqueline sits quietly towards the paint. Siege of Orleans further back, then sparkling flame. Park and fly. Bay Breeze has the shadow roll. Got about seven to go. And Rainwear is getting the hurry along around them, the green cap. Park and flies going out the back door with creative touch. Homeward bound just on 600 meters to go. Roy's rocker by one length. Amberlynn is right there. Towards the outside, Miss Jacqueline. Bay Breeze comes one off the outside. Then comes Rainwear, Sparkling Flame and Siege of Orleans. At the 300 meter marker, Bay Breeze now comes home steadily on the outside towards the inside Miss Jacqueline 200 meters to go and Bay Breeze hits the front Roy's rocker sparkling flame park and flies trying to close in Bay Breeze there's a tremor of excitement on course for the victory sparkling flame sick and then came Roy's rocker siege of Orleans and park and fly re-rally to run just about four lanes off Number five, Bay Breeze. You could almost feel the excitement. The adrenaline was pumping and the connections and the punters, they'll be over the moon. Samanga so Kamalo brought Bay Breeze around for the win. Sparkling Flame second, Roy's Rocker. Park and Fly or Siege of Orleans, Miss Jacqueline and Rainwear. So there you'll see towards the outside, Bay Breeze, Samanga Kamalo made an early move. He came to the outside and a lot of them were going up and down. Park and Fly started to re-rally towards the inside. Roy's Rocker, Siege of Orleans, but Bay Breeze, number five. For the Gareth Van Zale Stable, the Bayer Racing Club, Dees Dianland, the Chin Sammies, Chow Tees, the Providences, Nikers, Gareth Van Zale Racing Stables, the Pillays, they enjoy the moment. Oh, well, the horse is called Bay Breeze, and uh, I can tell you that you could, we would have heard the connections from the bay, from the Durban Bay, you would have heard them calling this horse home, and uh, Dees is here controlling the crowds and a, a bunch of jubilant owners. But before we get to the jubilant owners, we're going to congratulate Vijani. Vijani wins a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done to you, Vijani. He's gone off to attend to Bay Breeze. Samanga Kamala is with me, a quick double. A, a beautiful thing. And uh, look at this. Look at this. I don't think we have to say much more then. <laughs> Tell us about the race. Well done. Thank you. You know, uh, big thanks uh, uh, to uh, to Gareth first. You know, got in a ring. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of people behind this horse. And uh, I ask him what you want me to do. He says, you know, so uh, Bling, I'm not gonna tell you anything. You know, you know the filly. You must go out there. Obviously, uh, rather as, uh, with confidence. And he asked me if I'm, I do I mind about the 19. I said, you know what, I'm sure she'll she'll stay. And he said, you know what. Go do what you have to do. She, the gate opened and, uh, you know, she was slightly sluggish, but uh, they, they picked it up and I felt that uh, they were going a little harder early and I just held it together, held it together, but uh, uh, I think halfway they started to bring it back and uh, 
you know, she started to tuck a tug, and I just had to try and make it to settle because, you know, you, you don't want to have a horse that pulls and it's not going to finish. And uh, she came back and, you know, just gradually, gradually, but I felt that uh, they were coming back too much because she had a beautiful action underneath her. And I said, okay, fine, I'm, allowed, I'm allowing her to actually start to unwind and uh, while they're still sitting and then she can just find them on the top and then ask her to go and I think uh, uh, me doing that it really really worked out quite nicely and you know at the top of the straight already they were they were on full flight and she was just getting to to, to lift and uh, you know from then onwards it was a matter of how far so uh, I just rode her make sure that uh, she hit a line strong and uh, you know what a great training fit from Gareth and I think uh, putting in the right races uh, she, she has another one in there. Well to Mr. Munger, you've made a lot of people here that are owned horses for the owned a horse for the first time, their first winner. Well done to you. The photographs are going to be fantastic. The celebrations are going to be great. A lovely ride and well done. No, thank you so much. And again, uh, you know, to to the uh, these, you know, you put all this uh, uh, the owners together, and uh, it's, it's it's such a nice thing where uh, you you come to your family, friends, and you tell them, listen, I'm in a spot, and this is what I want you guys to be a part of, and it's exciting, and. Uh, and I'm sure, you know what, uh, they, they've seen the, the, the fun side of it. And well done to everybody in connection. And uh, to Gareth, everybody. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Where's Gareth? Where's Gareth amongst the crowd? I tell you, it's... Gareth! I get goosebumps because that's what it's all about. That's what we're missing. Well done. Yeah, Warren, thank you so much. And, you know, while I was thinking along the same thoughts, I was reminded of... You know, the last time I saw someone so excited to win a race um, was probably when I saw Raymond Deacon winning the July with Big City Life. And that's, I was a young a youngster then, and that's the image that stayed in my head a um, long time. And when I watched Oli shouting his Philly home today, it was that same kind of exuberance and excitement and just passion. It, it's just so wonderful to be a part of it. So I must just thank Dees and all the members. It's my privilege to be here and on this journey with them all. Samanga has given us the whole rundown of the race and, uh, you know, lightly raced Philly and she's going about it the right way. And let's hope they continue to have some fun with her because she certainly, as Samanga says, has another one or two in the tank. Yeah, exactly. She's honest and um, with stamina on her side, it, it helps a lot. So that was a big question today that she ticked that box. Um, but I must say a special thank you to Mario Ferreira, his kindness by offering us a pick of a few of his horses that were already in training, gave us opportunity to acquire this filly. And... Um, yeah, we couldn't be uh, if, if it wasn't for their kindness. And obviously, this is representing uh, the relationship I have with Dees as well. Um, a big thank you to Dees. And it's wonderful to have him involved in ownership. I mean, he's such a big part of the racing industry. And it's only right that, um, you know, he's, he's involved on the other side of the fence now, too. And um, a few of the members who aren't here, um, I must mention Dylan, who's in Canada, um, Jean, um, Dylan, um, Marlon, um, Gavin couldn't make it, Ansi. Um, I'm, I'm going to forget there's so many, but... Just a well done, everyone, and a thank you. And obviously, sorry, Samanga, he's, he's brilliant, and thank you. Well done, Samanga. Oh, wonderful, Gareth. Well done, well yeah, done. Brett Moore Stud, thank you. Let's get, uh, let's get Dees Dyan Anton. <laughs> whoop, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Dees, before we continue, just raise your mask for us, and, uh, well, what more can we say, Dees, and, and goosebump stuff, and look at these, the happy faces around this area. Well done. I just want to say that uh, this uh, initiative by Garrett to involve me by a racing uh, syndicate has just been an absolute pleasure to be involved with all these guys that uh, have had faith in Garrett and faith in myself to manage the syndicate, to administer the syndicate, and to take it to where it is today. We've only started with two horses, but it's certainly not going to stop there. People, if you want to get involved in a racehorse, it's not expensive if you do it the right way. I promise you that, and it's a loads of fun. This is an idea that was born, and it's more of a racing experience than just having a racehorse. That I can assure you. To all the guys that could not be here today, Juan, Dylan in Canada, uh, Marlon, and the rock in my life, Dylan, sad that you guys cannot be here with us, but to the guys that are here today, well done, guys. May this be the first of many, many more winners to come. And I've done, I've done, many, I've done many, many interviews, so... I plead to the operator, please give us two minutes more. Nalini, Oli, and Sudin just want to say a few words on behalf of the syndicate. It'll be short and quick. Let's get them Thank in, Dees. Let's get them in. Let's get them in. Ma'am, your first name is? Nalini. Nalini, yes. welcome. Thank Tell you. us what's going through your mind, what's going through your body right now. Too much adrenaline, too much excitement. 
it's it's just a feeling you, you oh, well now you've you experienced can't explain. it you can't explain it it's, especially when you see your horse running over the finish line it's something amazing well, amazing thank you for supporting thank racing so thank much. you for having the support the thank faith you. in the game and well done to you thank you garrett for a beautiful training and kumalo for a beautiful ride i want to just say well done guys and the elite racing group and the horse racing family i gave it to you all at 28 to 10. well done <laughs> One last, one last uh, uh, word from you, sir. Well done. Thank you so much, Warren. I think uh, it's an exciting moment for all the uh, syndicate members. A uh, huge thank you to Garrett for his transparency and his professionalism. Uh, to my cousin, Dees Dainand, you're amazing as always. You've come up with this initiative and you've really done it for the people. And to Smanga Kumalo, excellent ride. Thank you so much. Well, that's a wrap. We're out of time, everybody. Well, out of time, and we thank you for your time, and we thank you for your patience. And uh, what an atmosphere. What an atmosphere. Bay Breeze has won, and won to make a lot of dreams come true.